everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about bath and body products. Lotions and cleansers and bubble bath kind of stuff. So uh, this, is, this is a request from a viewer and I thought this would be a good time to particularly talk about body products because it's so dry in the winter time and gosh, it just... Your, your skin just suffers so from lack of moisture. So uh, I'm just gonna share with you, I went through my, my bathroom and my vanity and pulled the things that I have open that I'm using and I'm just gonna go ahead and share them with you. So I'm gonna start off by saying I don't have a ton of scented products because I like to wear perfume and I think sometimes scented products do interfere with your fragrance. So uh, I don't have a ton of scented products, but I do have a couple here. But the ones I'm going to start off with are kind of my basic everyday moisture um, lotions, body lotions, that I like to use uh, this time of year. The f and it is from Aveeno, the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I like this because it is, it absorbs into the skin, it doesn't leave your, you feeling tacky uh, or leave a greasy residue on your body. Uh, so I like it for that, for that aspect alone. Uh, and it doesn't have any fragrance, so it's just a really good basic body lotion. So they also have an, uh, a version of this body lotion with an SPF 15 in it. I tend to use this a little bit more during the summer, but it's great if you want to add a little sun protection to your body care routine. And it works very similarly to the non-SPF version. I really can't tell the difference. I like them both. Uh, and I use them both kind of interchangeably. I tend to use this one a little bit more in the summertime, however. So the next two products I'm going to talk about are from Paula's Choice. It's no secret, I'm a huge fan. I almost use just her products on my face. I really, really don't stray too far from her line of products because I find they just really work for me so well. But she also makes some body care products, which I really like. And I like the fact that often they have you know more than just a body lotion. It will also have either some kind of skin repairing ingredient in it. So the one I'm currently working on is the Resist Retinol Skin Smoothing Body Treatment. This also has um, antioxidants in it. And it's, you know, hydrates and repairs, creates smoother, younger looking skin, builds collagen for firmer skin. So you can use this here, on your hands, on your, you know, wherever you want. It has a really nice airless uh, pump, so it keeps the ingredients nice and fresh, and it's just not too heavy. It's just a really nice, on the light side, uh, lotion. It's not too heavy, it's not um, too thick, and absorbs into the skin beautifully without leaving any kind of um, funny residue on your skin. The other one I just have recently picked up, so it's a relatively new product to me, and it's the Paula's Choice Clinical Ultra Rich Smoothing Body Butter with Shea Butter and Antioxidants. And I picked this up because we're right in the dead of winter, and who doesn't need a thicker, slightly thicker night, night hand cream? And uh, I think this one fits the bill, so you can see it's really quite thick as you push it out of the tube and it's a much heavier thicker uh, lotion. I, this is a really great one for putting on your hands at night before you go to bed. It really um, blends into your skin quite nicely without feeling too heavy but it is definitely a thicker lotion. One of the things I like about this however is I will also take a dab of it like this and you know run it on my cuticles before I go to bed so again I feel like this is something that has multiple purposes and I like that aspect I'm not like opening 20 things before I go to bed at night so uh, that's one of the the bonuses of this product 
So the next two products are have some scent to them. They're scented um, body lotions. And the first one I think a lot of you will be familiar with, and it's from Bath and Body Works, and it's in the scent Twilight Woods. And this has a really beautiful um, musky, uh, I was going to say flavor. It's not a flavor. It has a really beautiful musky fragrance to it and it's a really lovely it's really a lovely uh, body lotion this was gifted to me uh, around the holidays and I've been quite pleased with it so um, when I want to wear a little bit of a scented body lo lotion this is a really nice one and the other scented body lotion I have is from bliss and it's the blood orange and white pepper body butter and this one has definitely a very citrusy smell to it and again this is just kind of your basic body lotion um, it says a body butter but I wouldn't say it's as thick as a body butter and it has just a really nice um, citrus it has a really nice citrusy fresh uh, fragrance to it so this is you know a little bit lighter maybe a little more daytime a little more nighttime I'm not sure um, but really, both really very nice uh, body lotions. Next, I'm going to talk about some um, body uh, wash products and some things I use in the bathroom and in the bathtub. And I'm going to start off with something that's in our shower, and it's pretty basic. It's from Dial, and it's the Mountain Fresh All Day Freshness Antibacterial Body Wash. And this is something uh, my husband and I share, so I had to kind of pick, you know, a neutral scent for us to have in the, the new shower, and uh, he really likes this. It just has a very fresh fragrance to it. It's not overpowering, and it has a really nice lather, and this is probably my second bottle of this Dial body wash. It's terrific, and if you are sharing your bathroom with someone and you are kind of limited on uh, space where you're going to put things in your shower, this is a good choice. It's appealing to both. So the next product I have is from Lolila. This is a perfume shower gel with white petals and rice flower. And I've only used this a little bit. But it has a um, very light floral uh, fragrance to it, and it's not overpowering. You know, my husband wouldn't want to use it, but I think this is one that you could use and then still use a perfume afterwards. It wouldn't be too overpowering, but um, this is a relatively new product to me, but it's really, it's quite nice. So then I have two items that I use in my bath, and the first one is some... Uh, mineral bath salts. I love the, the lavender fragrance in general and these are nice to sprinkle in in your uh, bath water if you just want to have a nice kind of relaxing bath with some you know a little bit of fragrance. You're not so interested in you know the bubble bath aspect of it because it does not do that but it adds a nice fragrance to the bath water and it's just very uh, calming and relaxing. So the fragrance in here is lavender, chamomile, and sage, and um, it's, I think, supposed to be stress relieving, this combination of fragrance. I don't know, I just like the way it smells. So the next one is the Ahava Mineral Botanic Velvet Cream Wash. But I use this in my bathtub, and I just pour a bunch under the running water and it makes some nice bubbles and it has a really lovely fragrance um, but I think you could also use this in a shower and like on a, one of those scrubby sponges and it would be equally as delightful to use so I think this is something you could use in both places depending what you want but I do really enjoy the fragrance of this and it is hibiscus and fig so it's florally just really a nice floral type of fragrance without being too flowery, if that makes sense. 
So I'm going to just finish up with a few honorable mentions as I close out this video. And these are two things that I keep by my bedside, um, handy for uh, taking care of my, my hands and my nails. The first one is some good old basic petroleum jelly. Gotta have this because it's great for your nails, your cuticles, your lips the little scaly parts on your feet. <laughs> you know, a very versatile thing. Um, and I actually really like to travel with petroleum jelly because it is so versatile and you can use it for a bunch of different things. But this is a must have for me and this tube I've had for almost forever. But as you can see, I'm getting down to the end of it, but oh, just awesome. And then I also have a pot of this um, lemony flutter cuticle butter from uh, Lush. And uh, I've really been enjoying this too. It is an extra step, whereas when I use this, I can just put one on, but I do love the fragrance of this. It's a nice lemony fragrance. And, you know, I just get a bunch on my fingertip and just rub it into my cuticles. I don't know about you. Cuticles, oh my gosh. They're like a full-time job sometimes, especially this time of year. Holy guacamole. So those are some of my favorite bath and body wash products that I uh, have currently in rotation. If there's something that you love, let me know. I do want to say, oh, there's one other thing I want to say. So one of the things I really love, and I don't have any of this right at the moment, is I love to splurge and get... Uh, a body lotion or a body cream that is scented with my favorite perfume fragrance. And that's something that it's definitely, you know, a luxury item for me, but um, I like to layer that sometimes and it's just a nice luxury item, you know? <laughs> so that's something that I don't have currently in rotation, but I'm, I will be picking up soon, and I'll probably choose uh, to get some from Flower Bomb. That is really probably my, that is my current top favorite fragrance. So uh, that's something to consider when you are looking to add to your collection or you're looking to buy a scented body lotion. If you have one that is a perfume that is your favorite and you wear it often, uh, this could be a really nice addition. And I'm kicking myself because... I passed on the gift set that was available at Christmas time from Victor and Rolf uh, for the Flower Bomb perfume. And I did notice they do have a new set out for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled to see if maybe that goes on sale after the holiday. Because I doubt somebody's going to get that for me. But um, that's something that's kind of on my list. So I would love to know what bath and body products you love, and if you have a recommendation for me that's something I should check out, I would love to hear from that in the comments below. So uh, feel free to leave some feedback for me there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. And I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.